What's up, kiddos? This is game time with your favorite uncle. Today we will be checking out Monster Prom. General information. Monster Prom is a competitive dating game where you play as a monster at a monster high school. The goal, you ask? Well, to get a date to the Monster Prom, of course. This can be played with one to four people as you choose various dialogue and locations to build relations and improve your stats to better your chances of getting a date to the prom. The game was made by Beautiful Glitch, who seems to have made their debut with Monster Prom. For their publisher, Those Awesome Guys, who have also published Move or Die, Monster Prom was released in April of 2018 and sports very positive reviews overall and a 73 on Metacritic. Graphics and Performance As to expect from a dating sim, all you ever really see is a backdrop and various characters as they talk and interact with different outfits and slight animations that resemble animatics when they change expression. Being a dating sim for monsters, the game is very cartoony in fashion and I honestly loved the art style and thought all the characters had their special charm. I played as a very cool looking Frankenstein looking character whose design I fell in love with as soon as I saw him. The backgrounds were very simple but fit the style it was going for quite well. The menus and GUI look like magazines or pieces of paper to pull the setting in quite a bit more. Besides the characters, there isn't a lot I can judge the game graphically on. As for performance, the game is dialogue based no, with no active animations so frames aren't really required to play the game effectively. I ran at 60 frames the whole time I played and the minimum specs literally says anything from the last 5 years, but honestly I think that's a little generous. I'll, overall I gave graphics and performance a score of 8. Gameplay and story. I played the game with 3 of my companions for a sexy battle royale for monster love. Now my experience with dating sims is very limited beyond the realm of Doki Doki, which I don't really think is a good precedent for dating sims being more of a horror game than anything. You can choose a short or long game and for us we were in it for the long haul. The game is played over the course of three weeks through various rounds which boiled down to picking a stat to approve then interacting with the characters. Then lunch and then a random after school event. All these led to dialogue with various love interests. The dialogue I found was very funny and inappropriate making many pop culture references that I very much enjoyed. The game doesn't take itself too seriously and honestly was one of my favorite parts. Monster Prom gets the dialogue just right in my opinion. The game doesn't offer anything in the form of a tutorial, but by round 2 we were picking things up pretty well. During our playthrough I did all the reading of the voices and didn't really have separate voices for the characters which would have been more fun. The people I was playing with seemed to want to get the whole experience over with as soon as I could, so I didn't want to keep them any longer than I had to. That being said, if I had 4 people who were super excited and down to do voices to the characters I feel like I would have had to add to the experience. The game offers many different endings and scenarios which always kept you on your toes. One of our favorite things was the challenges that decided who to go first every round. They were like mini debates where we choose who had the best answer to a question or prompt. This game did a very good job of bringing multiplayer to a dating sim. The story is pretty simple, you're trying to find a date to Monster Prom and there are little stories that happen along the way. Some of the ones we ran into were pretty silly and I enjoyed the randomness of it all. Overall I gave gameplay and story a score of 9. Length, Replayability, and Price I received this game as a part of a Humble Bundle monthly, so it was not a game I sought out. The game is offered at $11.99 on Steam, but can be found on G2A for $3-$5. Now I played the game with my buddies for 2.4 hours uh, for one playthrough, and I intended to do a try a solo run to see how gameplay differs. Now the game offers a lot of scenarios, the replayability is definitely there if you're willing to keep playing. If dating sim is a genre you enjoy or maybe just want a silly game to play with some friends, I would definitely give the game a try. I would say it's worth the full price, but always try to save a buck when you can. Overall I gave length, replayability, and price a score of 8. Music The game's music fills the silence between dialogue and can be heard almost the whole time through your playthrough. The game sports some surf rock through and through, which I feel they couldn't have picked better music. It really sets the tone being in a silly high school making dumb decisions with your friends. It felt like the same track was playing through my playthrough, but the different songs all just stuck to the same theme. Some more obvious deviation would have been nice, but overall I have no complaints on the music. Listening back to the tracks, I found myself bobbing my head and remembering the moments I shared with my friends trying to get Monster Poon. The credits song 15 Minutes by Mike Kroll really ties the whole thing up with a scuffed beautiful bow as you see pictures of the cast of characters getting in all sorts of hijinks. Overall I gave music a score of 7.5. Recommendations 
dating sims. Yikes. Uh, my experience is uh, pretty much non-existent for the time being. I have a few in my library, but I'm not sure they will be similar to this one. I think this is one of the only dating sims that has multiplayer, so if that is an experience you're looking for, I got nothing. Also, most dating sims seem to also have the tag of nudity on them, but for these recommendations, I'm going to keep the pants on, just as they do in, uh, in Monster Prom. Please, again, before I list these recommendations, give them a grain of salt. This is not even close to my comfort zone. Two dating sims that I have in my library are Hustle Cat, which seems to be a cat cafe dating sim. What could go wrong? Am I right? And Perfect Date. Both cat related. Weird. Which seems to be where you uh, actually just uh, date cats. Uh, bestiality is okay now. Huh. Don't uh, ask me why both of them are related to cats. I just like pussy, that's all. Overview. Monster Prom is a very unique game in my experience, being the only dating sim I know where you compete against your friends for the dates. That on its own deserves lots of praise from me, bringing something fresh to the genre is always appreciated. But to add to that, the game has a very fun and loose style to it. From the music, the dialogue, the game, it's a fever dream of experience that I enjoyed with my friends. Even in the end, I didn't get a date for Monster Prom, I still joined the journey to my failure. I gave Monsters Prom a score of 41.5 out of 50. I wanted to thank you guys all for joining me on this game time with your favorite uncle. I will see you in the next one. Adios.